For months following the 2020 presidential election, Fox News hosts and their guests called the vote rigged. We cannot allow America's election to be corrupted. This is an election nightmare. News Corp chairman Rupert Murdoch says Fox News was, quote, trying to straddle the line between spewing conspiracy theories on one hand, yet calling out the fact that they are actually false on the other. According to newly released court documents in a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against the cable network. Dominion Voting System alleges Fox News knowingly spread false claims about their voting machines to retain viewers. In excerpts of a sworn deposition included in a court filing by Dominion, Murdoch is asked if some hosts endorsed the narrative of a stolen election. Yes, they endorsed. Later adding, I would have liked us to be stronger in denouncing it in hindsight. Fox News says Dominion's lawsuit has always been more about what will generate headlines, taking an extreme, unsupported view of defamation law that would prevent journalists from basic reporting, calling the lawsuit a blatant violation of the First Amendment. What is the burden of proof in a defamation case? You have to show not only that the statements were false about someone, uh, but that they were made with actual malice. So that's knowledge that it was false, or a reckless disregard for whether it was false. Rebecca Tushnet teaches First Amendment law at Harvard. What stood out to me was the uh, unwillingness to confront the on-screen talent. According to the court filing, the day before the January 6th storming of the Capitol, Murdoch wanted hosts to say the election is over and Joe Biden won. Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott told him, privately they are all there, but we need to be careful about using the shows and pissing off the viewers. Dominion says that night, the hosts did not declare Joe Biden the winner. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News.